In February 1763, Britain and France signed the Treaty of Paris, ending at last the Seven Years' War. King George III now rules more territory across the globe than was ever held by the Roman Empire. But the territory in North America is now so vast, the British must find a new way to manage it. The king issues the Royal Proclamation of 1763. Among its provisions is a new boundary. The proclamation goes even further than the Treaty of Easton, asserting that all lands west of the Appalachians, the heart of the continent, are reserved for the Indians. And yet, more immigrants than ever are settling in the back country. In the 1760s, the Ohio country plays host to a new migration from Britain and other parts of Europe. Newcomers cut their way into North America's interior, often marking the corners of their land claims with their initials. The migration was fueled by letters from friends and relatives who had served with British forces during the French and Indian War. Colonials had been fighting for access to the continent's vast interior. After all, that's what they thought the war was all about. And now the king has declared the very land they are settling is off limits, reserved for Indians.